Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. I am Draco Thuban, and we're going to be doing this together, uh, having some fun, and showing you a bit about the game. Anywho, now that we gain control of Wanda, we can actually head towards our first Colossus. Um, controls real quick, triangle is jump, uh, X is call aggro or spur aggro. Uh, square is uh, your attack button. Uh, R1 is your grab button. Uh, hmm, that's all I can really think of right now. So anyway, that's your uh, your health bar down at the bottom right. The red and the pink is your grip bar. The longer you hold on, uh, the lower your bar gets. Uh, and, and it's, well, the lower your circle gets. This is our little training level to show how we actually get up and use all of our controls. So. It's pretty easy. As long as you find this right here. This patch of moss right here is what you grab onto. You hold R and then you just climb it up. And you can see the grip meter going down. When you get up to the top, hit triangle to kick yourself up. Now I am playing on hard mode. So some of the colossi are going to be a little bit more difficult than normal. It might take me a couple takes. Um, right here, you hit uh, on. you hit your R1 to crouch, and then triangle to roll and jump through that. But uh, whereas some of the colossi in easy mode have maybe one weakness. Uh, now they have two or three, and, and they definitely have more health, so. And uh, I am starting a fresh new game instead of a continuation new game, so I start with the lowest possible grip and health, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. And here's our first target. Now one of the cool things to know is that um, if you call aggro, while you're near a Colossus, instead he'll whistle, and basically he's just trying to get the Colossus' attention. So. Like so. And if the Colossus hears you, then he'll stop and turn around and go, Hey, what was that? Now our goal right now is that uh, patch of fur right there. Um, L1 uh, centers on the Colossus, makes it easier to see him, so. As long as you're running around, you can do that. now. You get up here, and uh, can't see it, but there's a weakness right there. So let's go ahead and switch to the sword. There, now you can see it, now that the sword's out. Ha ha ha. Hit square, charge up your attack, dive it down into his flesh, and do it again. Now make sure you hold on during the cinemas and stuff like that. You're still actually in control of Wanda. All right. Now we can jump up his leg, onto his body, and actually get to some real weak points. Now, when you're on a solid surface like this, uh, go ahead and crouch and you regain your grip faster and it makes it uh, harder for you to uh, be knocked off balance. Now there we can see one of his weak points, but we're not going to head to that one yet. Uh, we're going to climb all the way up to the top. And when you get up to where it's almost flat ground, you can finish running. The less you have to hold on, the better. And we'll repeatedly stab him. Die, stupid Colossus, die! Now the longer you hold your uh, attack button, the, uh, uh, the stronger the attack's gonna be. Um, but the better chance you have of something happening where you uh, actually get uh, knocked off balance. If you get knocked off balance, you completely lose that strike, and it's just a big waste of time. 
So I usually go like a half to three quarters, all dependent on the boss. Oh, come on. Alright. Regain my grip and try it again. Um, now, jumping acts in the same way as stabbing. The longer you hold jump, uh, the farther you'll go. So keep that in mind as well. Now, you don't have to be right on it. Um, you can be, you know, a little bit off. Uh, but if you go too far off, you'll notice because you won't do any damage. Um, and if you try to stab into bone or any, you know, hard metal parts, you'll just bounce right back your sword will bounce right off. So you'll know you're in the wrong spot. Now when it glows real bright like that, it'll fade away and you can't use that one anymore. So we've got to drop down over here to this arm. There we go. Just hold on and stab for all you're worth. Uh, this is the uh, final uh, weakness on this uh, Colossus. And then he falls. Hopefully not crushing me. Now this cinema you really don't have to worry about too much. You can't really die during the cinema. But if you die right as this is happening, then you die. Not a lot you can do. Now that black stuff coming out is uh, nasty stuff, uh, but it's going to get you, <laughs> no matter what you do. So don't worry about it, just wait for it. Uh, a few bosses, uh, it takes painfully long time to get out, but... Now if you could hear that, that slight whisper right there, that's Mono. As she gets better and better from us killing Colossi, she will get louder and louder. Also, each Colossi we kill will bring a white dove to her side and will also bring a black shadow during this cinema. Each time you uh, defeat one of them, you get a cinema just like this. Join us next time to see the seaside cave beast as it moves slowly and we raise our courage and defeat it. See ya!